Hi friends, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and healthy and hopefully filled with the Lord's joy in this season. Um, so basically, in short, I am stepping out of my comfort zone making this video. Um, quite frankly, I am tired of comfort zones and the Lord has really been reminding me that He gave me a voice and He wants to use it. He's been saying, Hannah, it's go time. So y'all, I guess it's go time. Uh, I have a feeling that he wants me to talk about surrender in this video, so I'm here to encourage the Bride of Christ to surrender yet again today. <laughs> um, if you're like me and you think that you've surrendered everything to the Lord, it's a new day. Ask him again, and he will show you what else you need to surrender. For me today, it was the fear of putting myself out there. And trust me, when you surrender yet again today, you are pouring even more oil onto his feet. Beautiful oil and incense of worship. And he just soaks it all up. He works with you and you, you, surrendering, you cannot fail surrendering to the Lord. He is faithful and he will meet you where you're at and he will help you. Even the idea of surrendering was not our idea first. We are not powerful enough in our flesh to just conjure up, oh, I think I'm going to surrender today. No, that is a prompting of the Holy Spirit. And when you ease into that prompting, he will help you. He will help you surrender. So, um, yeah, I found a verse um, in the Passion Translation that I really liked, and it'll be a good segue into surrendering. It says, you can rationalize it all you want and justify the path of error you have chosen but you'll find out in the end that you took the road to destruction. Wow, that is, that's hard to take in, to, to realize that the thing that you are trying to rationalize with God is the very thing that he's saying, no, I want that, I need it, trust me. And for me, this process started, I think early 2019, and here's how it went hope I'm making sense. I'm sure I am. I don't know. But here's how it went. So um, I had this thing in my life where I did not want to give up to the Lord. I said, Lord, you can have access to every other area in my life, but just not this one. In my head, I was like 90% surrender. That's pretty good. Well, here's the truth. 90% surrender is still 0% surrender. You either give your whole life to the Lord and make him Lord of all, or not Lord at all. <laughs> I learned that a couple years ago, and it just blew my mind. But anyway, so I was saying, Lord, I, I cannot give up this thing. No, never, never, ever can I give up this thing. But whatever else you want to do with me, you do with me. Okay, that was stage four. Stage three happened a few months later, and I started saying, okay, Maybe I will give up this thing, but just not now. Maybe later, later down the road when I'm ready, I will give up this thing, just not now. Okay, a few months later, stage two. This is how it went. Okay, Lord, I realize the time has come for me to give up this thing, and I really want to, so help me. Help me, Lord. I want to surrender this to you. And then a few days from that, not months, but days, I sat there on my knees and I said, Lord, take it, take it all. I give it all to you. I surrender my life to you. And I surrendered that thing. That one thing that just a few months prior, I was like, never. I was like, yes, take it. But do you know what happened in between those stages? And for some people, you're not as stubborn as I was. And you may be like, yes, take it all in an instant. But for me, no, it was a process. But here's what happened. It wasn't that I was so burdened by this thing that it was like nagging at me and pulling at me and I was just getting so uncomfortable. It was that the love of God started overflowing in me and upon me that I truly for the first time understood Jesus loves me. Now I grew up in preschool singing the song, Jesus loves me, this I know. But no, for real, 
Jesus loves me. This I know. It was the touch of heaven, the sweet, tender touch of Jesus that helped prompt that surrender along. I could not do it in my own flesh. My flesh was really fighting that. But as I started letting go, I started experiencing a love I never knew. And the Lord really put this phrase in my head today. He said, the world would say that surrender means giving yourself over to chains and defeat while you kiss your freedom goodbye. It's true. If you watch any war movies um, and one, the one battle person, I don't even know, has to surrender to the other, it's like this whole thing of defeat and it's like I'm giving up my freedom. However, the kingdom of heaven would say, surrender means giving yourself over to true freedom and victory while kissing your chains and defeat goodbye. When you surrender to the Lord, you truly walk into freedom. Yes, you die to self. Yes, your flesh is going to fight it. But you walk in to complete freedom. You step right into the Lord's will for your life. And it is a feeling like never before. It's as if you experience Jesus in a whole new way for the first time. Because you become one with him. Like You truly become one with him. I was reading in Exodus today, and it was when um, Moses just stepped out of the temple. And back then, in order to meet with the Lord face to face, Moses would have to step outside of his camp and go to the temple to meet him. So this is after the glory of the Lord completely just overcame Moses. And Moses said, I'll read it. I'll read it for you. Moses said, You have said to me, speaking of God, I know you by name and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. That is beautiful. Teach me your ways means I give up my ways so I can know you better and find favor with you. Guys, Jesus is a real person with real love, with real joy, with real faithfulness. He is trustworthy. He is beautiful. He is filled with the oil of gladness. He is wonderful. When you surrender that thing that is currently sitting on the throne of your heart, Jesus gets his rightful place back on the throne of your heart and you can see him clearly. He will take away the haze from your eyes. He will lead you into all that he has for you. And all of a sudden, the answers, all the answers that you've been wanting to your questions seem to fall to the ground and you start looking to the answer himself. But you have to choose to surrender. You have to make that choice to lay down your life, pick up your cross and follow him. It doesn't mean that you're going to live a life filled with perfection and no challenges whatsoever quite the contrary but you're going to live a life with an eternal perspective that your home is not here heaven is your home bride of christ it is time to surrender surrender whatever is holding you back surrender that person that thing that mindset those lies whatever it is trust god he is trustworthy. He paid a very high price for you to surrender and to have that relationship with him. A very high price. Whatever you're surrendering is not costing you as much as it cost heaven when Jesus came on this earth to die for you. Pride of Christ, it's okay. He loves you. He will take care of you. All the other lovers are lesser compared to him. It's time to see him for who he truly is. It's time to see him clearly. It's time to acknowledge that he really is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. Surrendering may hurt for a little bit. You may have, you may grieve it. But that grieving is only going to last a moment. Weeping may last for a night, night, but joy comes in the morning. I promise you. You can do this. It's worth it. It really is. I hope that. 
this encouraged somebody in that. I didn't sound too harsh, but you know what? If I did, you probably needed it. So, all right. <laughs> Thanks for listening for 10 minutes. Love you guys. <gasps>